here we have a mixed bag of review. Let's start with a system of equations problem. One of the main buildings at DU, that's Denver University, is Sturm Hall. It has two types of spaces. It has lecture halls. Let's call those L for lecture halls. And C for classrooms. And more to the point, this is the number of students. Uh, this is the number of lecture halls, number of of classrooms. All right, and then it goes on to say that a lecture hall can hold 300 people and a classroom will hold 35 students. The whole capacity of the building is 3,600 people and there are 65 total rooms. How many lecture halls are there? Okay, so we know that the total number of lecture halls plus the total number of classrooms has to equal the total number of rooms because that's all we got. Um, and so that's 65. We also know that there are 300 people in a lecture hall plus 35 in a classroom for a total of 3,600 people. So that's not what I wanted. All that we need to do is solve the system. So before I continue the video, I'm going to make sure that it is registering my sound. And it is. Hello? OK, cool. So uh, I'm going to multiply I'm going to multiply this equation here by, oh, I don't know, maybe negative 35. And when I multiply this out, that's going to end, end up giving me negative 35c, which is the opposite of positive 35c. It will also give me negative 35l. And when I multiply 65 times 35, I get negative 2,275. So let's go ahead and add these two things, these two equations together. So 300L minus 35L is uh, 265L. These will cancel out because they're opposites. And this is equal to, I'm going to add it to 3,600, 1,325. Divide both sides by 265. And I got L is equal to 5. I have 5 lecture halls. Well, if I have 5 lecture halls and 65 total rooms, that means I have 60 classrooms as well. I think I may have exaggerated the number of classrooms in this problem, but that is all right. OK, next problem. Uh, find the area of the gray section and use 3 for pi. So I know that this radius is 5, because it says right here. Well, that means that this distance here is also 5, and this distance here is 5, and this distance here is 5. So this total distance is 20. Using the same logic, the diameter being 10 for each, that I know that this distance here has to be 30. The area of the rectangle is base times height. So we have 20 times 30 for a grand total of 600 and this is in centimeters cubed. Now the circle, a circle, the area has an equation of area is equal to pi times the radius squared. The radius is 5, so we have 25, because 5 times 5 is 25, times pi, and we're using 3 in this case, so that's 75. Each circle has an area of 75 uh, centimeters cubed. And I have 6 of them, so 6 times 75 is, oh look, a calculator again. 6 times 75 is 450. So 450 square centimeters are taken up by the circles out of the total 600 in the rectangle. Well, that means all I have to do is subtract these, and I will get 150 centimeters cubed. 
All right. Moving on. If the ratio of cars to trucks is th 1 to 3, what percent of the vehicles are trucks? All right. So ratios are order specific. Cars to trucks. So this has to be cars and this has to be trucks. If I have one car and three trucks, that is a total of four vehicles. So that means I have three trucks out of four total vehicles, and that is 75%. What increase, what is the increase, percent increase of the original price? Oh my goodness, one would think I could read by now, but no. What is the percent increase if the original price was $75 and the new price is $90? Well, so the difference in the two is $15. So we've increased the price by $15. So what we really want to do is we want to find what percent uh, 15 is of the 75. So we're finding out the percent 15 represents for 75. And so we are just going to divide seven, uh, 15 by 75. And that is a 20% uh, increase. Tired of using green. This is my favorite color. This is red. All right. I'm going to clear it. All right. What is the percent decrease if the original height was 36 millimeters and the new height is? Okay. Well, so same basic idea, right? So uh, we have 36. That's our start. We're ending up at 33. So that is a difference of three. So what percent is 3 of 36? Let's give it, so as a fraction, we're going to get 1 because 3 goes into 1 twelfth. And 1 twelfth is going to be, and what's a percent decrease? So that is an 8.3% decrease. Finally, you, are, you found a cute person next to you. And you know what? You're like, I'm going to offer to pay their bill. Maybe they'll talk to me. The bill comes to 31.5, and the sales tax is 8%, and you're going to leave a 20% tip. So um, the tip is always based on this number here. So we need 20% of this. Now, the easy way, easiest way to do this is to turn it into 10% and double it. To turn it into 10%, um, all you would do is move the decimal place over 1. So you have 3.15 is 10% times 2. Times 2 is 6.30. So right away, I know uh, we're going to have 31.5 plus 6.3. And so we're at 37.80. Now tax is also going to go back to this original number here. So let's go with it. Uh, so tax is 8% of this. Now I'm not going to be here and do it in my head. I'm going to go ahead and use the what I have available to me. Times 0.08. And so that is $2.52. So I add that together, and I will get a grand total of 2. 8 plus 5 is 13, so that's 3, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. So my grand total will be $40.32. Now, some bright spark said, well, wait a second. If we are going to do 20% and 8% off the same number, wouldn't it just be easier? Wouldn't it just be easier to figure out what 28% is? And so then we would go 31.5 times 1.28. Oh, look at that. One step, we can get the whole thing done. All right, excellent. So I hope this review was informative and helpful so that at least the next time you go on a date, you know how to find a good tip and how to impress your date.
for 